okay, and it's been about an hour since I last recorded. And yeah, in today's video, I'll be looking at the anniversary anti champion rifle, and uh, it has uh, the ricochet effect, got the kill targets explode, and also got the x ray. So, pretty, pretty much the opposite of anti champion rifle. But it also has a fire rate of 67, and capacity of 7, and also mobility of 67. This weapon compared to the anti the anti champion rifle. Yep. Compared to this, they look exactly the same, but this is more vibrant. And yeah, I gotta skip that clan squad. But yeah, from now on, if you want to know when I, what video I'm gonna upload next, join my clan, cause I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, typing in chat what video is going to come out next and yeah there's anti uh, champion rifle and it looks very cool it does have the side spike things which does look different and blows so very cool number 1209 in the gallery we have the anti uh, and the anniversary anti champion rifle and the shot it looks magnificent man look at that laser look at that laser and it seems to one shot headshot which is very good and yeah uh, where's my mouse okay anniversary uh, there you go. Anniversary anti champion rifle. And uh, yeah, the reload. It looks. Oh, that's cool. It does a little flick thing. Yo, did you see that? Yo, it does a little twirl thing. That's cool. Yo. And yeah. Oh, that's a lot of damage. The damage on this, it does 150. One to the body, and uh, will do 211 to the head. 211. And there's no fixed delay, no input, no open delay, no travel, no rocket jump, no self damage, and yes, for the optic sight. Pew. And yeah, this weapon is a remodel of the anti-champion rifle, which is the remodel of the anti-hero rifle. And this weapon has no extra bonus secret attributes except for the laser. And for the first game, no, um, no modules. Just gonna try it out in Forge of the Team Fight map site. And yeah, does it have no open delay? It does. Does it have no input delay? It does. That is fantastic. That is not fantastic. And if you do not know, I've spent way too much time on trying to unlock the automaton that I've completely given up on it. And yeah, I sh also have the Sakura that is available in the, s in the store. So I might buy that and make a review on that soon. But I, I, if I were to buy the Sakura, I will only have to buy 41 parts for the Sakura, which isn't really worth it since I can get in the lottery. So, should I just like spend 100 and something gems to buy the Sakura and the offers? Or should I just grind it in the, in the lottery? And maybe upload that video tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Maybe I'll just buy the Sakura. Yeah. Pew. 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 Oh! If you do not know, the uh, Poison Dart actually have a, a very, very small manual guidance. <coughs> it has a very tiny manual guidance -y, So that was very cool. And I got, I think I got a real player on my team this time. Nuke. Oh, freak. And yeah, it doesn't really sit right with me to have 
two uh, two ricochet weapons here. So I might probably replace this with a right uh, rainbow rhino. And new. What? Oh, headshot! Nice, nice kill. Yeah, and yeah, this weapon honestly just seems like your ordinary cat spammable sniper, you know. But with no input and no output delay, which is really good. Boom! Come on! Oh! I'm so good at this stuff for that as a teammate. But I'm so good at like really, really slow travel time uh, weapons or damage dealing stuff. Nyeom. None of that travel too fast. Stop. Okay, I hit ultimatum. And yeah, there there was a dare that uh, told me to spam ultimatum in the deathmatch game mode. And since I do not have ultimatum. I will replace that there with something else. Or I can get really lucky in this lottery and get ultimatum. Since I'm encountering so many people with an ultimatum nowadays, I don't feel like ultimatum is really a weapon that is like super OP and rare nowadays. Because now you can practically see a person with ultimatum every other map or match. Headshot. Hit your friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my god. My aim has reached its peak right then and there. Mm. What's my, uh, my uh, hit percentage? My accuracy is at 51.2. It is way lower than that. But yeah, this is very much so cat spammable. And it's honestly really is it's pretty good at cat spamming. But for the second game I shall not be cat spamming this instead I'll be just normal spamming this weapon in What's that very anniversary map? Hmm War of Toys near nah. Oh my god, I'm gonna go, go on Ice Palace. I like Ice Palace. And yeah, Ice Palace only has two green person boys. And that's pretty sad. And Ice Palace. Okay, I play with bots. That means I have a high chance of winning. Woo. Oh, quick sculpt. Not really. Oh, I forgot this doesn't have wall break. And yeah, the damage on this is actually very good. But for a cat spam weapon, there are a lot of weapons that deal pretty much the same damage and also cat spammable. But I wouldn't say this weapon's terrible or just not good. I'm just saying that there are a lot of weapons similar to this. And yeah, I'm just saying there are too many cat spammable uh, ricocheting uh, sniper. I mean, just look, in, look into the armory and count how many there are. I can guarantee at least three. You know what? Oh, yeah, this weapon that has a uh, kill target explode. I forgot, bro. I got a furry. Furry. Frick you. And yeah, uh. Well, this weapon has ricochet. This weapon has ricochet. This has ricochet. I'm about to die very, very soon. Uh. This has ricochet, this has ricochet. Uh, yeah, a lot of weapons. Oh, Project Marlin has ricochet. And it's cat spammable. And the laser's red. And I just got a kill Taurus explode kill. Very nice. And yeah, you know what, what I mean, bro? There's just too many weapons that just seem too similar. Pixel gun, make your game so that there are less cat spammable snipers, man. There are too many cat spammable guns nowadays. Oh, gem. Yeah. Bam. And there are too many weapons that are cat spammable. And I got 19 kills in a row. Not, not in a row, but 19 kills. Can I get another furry? 
I like furries. F fury, fury. Yeah. Let's go. 20 kills. Mm. Alright, kill me, kill me. I want to get like three uh, furies in the game. Kill me. Let's go. Alright, three furies in a game. Yeah. Dead. Dead. Nice. Enemy. Enemy spotted. Bang. Up oh, missed. Bang. This one's actually really OP. Hmm. And I really like the reload. You see that little uh, flick thingy? When it reloads, that is so sick. Bang. Oh, frick. Blah. Don't kill me. Let's go. A bang. Silent death. Turret. I'm running. God diggity dog. <laughs> Holy cow. <gasps> Let's go, furry. I, yeah, boy. Three furies. I right, kill me. I want to get four furies. Let's go. Can I get four furies in a game? That'd be very cool. He's dead. You're dead. Double kill. Uh, triple kill, perhaps? Triple kill. Multi kill. Multi kill. Oh, multi kill already? Oh. Oh, yeah, this weapon also has X ray. That's very good. Ultra kill. Six kills in a row. Monster kill. Seven kills in a row. Uh, boom, boom. Yeah. Uh, seven, eight kills in a row. Please. Nine kills in a row. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. No! He? Oh! If only I had one more kill at the end, bro. Four kills in four minutes. Damn. That's tragic. Oh, but, yeah, this weapon's honestly, it's OP. It, it can practically one-shot bots. It, it one-shots bots all the time with modules, and it can one-shot headshots uh, real players, and maybe even one-shot body shot uh, real players, too. Damage on this, insane, and for this, I will give a solid 9 out of 10, since I didn't quite get a fury at that, and, yeah. 9 out of 10 for the anniversary anti-champion rifle. Anyways, that's about it for today's video. And hope you have a great day.